Nah, that's cool. So, let's talk about these two characters. Pac-Man is a much better camper here. They, they both have good projectiles, and like, Samus will use her projectiles a lot, but in terms of just like, camping to camp, not camping to like, get, get hits, Pac-Man is much better. That was a really good down smash. I really like that idea. He got the read, he just mistimed it. Also, he's just been doing a lot of really good stuff so far. He's been getting a lot of these uh, brain chops that are crucial for her. Bombs on the ledge. He goes for one more, but there's already two on the field, so he can't get that one out. Nice little Galaga combo. He almost gets the, uh, the second pop-up with it. Oh, he uppers right through the Hydra. That actually just beat the Hydra completely. That's crazy. I guess he just, like, it traded with the first hit, and then it just kept going. That's one thing that Samus has no trouble with. A lot of characters with, like, not great projectiles, they can't... Like, they can deal with Hydra in their own ways, but Samus can just, like, from all the way across the map, just be like, I don't really want to deal with that, the Hydra right now. I just shoot it with a missile, charge shot, whatever you want. A Zare to, like, poke at it or poke through it, potentially. I'm, I'm like, almost 100% sure that that Zare goes through the Hydra. So even though he got him up to this high percent pretty quickly, he has not found a kill, and now he's actually trailing. Vathos not going to take it by a long shot. I, meant to, I think he meant to go into the apple there. Samus up throw, probably going to kill. Oh, never mind. Now that he has no rage, that will not be killing anymore. I don't think. You can get all the percent you want, but you have to kill at some point. Pac-Man... Definitely one of the best survivors in the game. Up throw, okay, I like that. Charge our combos into grab, combos obviously into up throw. So, that's definitely a kill confirm, like the landing weak charge shot. Ooh, misses the fair, but gets it. I like that. Misses the fair, gets a little jab block. He knows that he kind of played that sloppily, so he just dashed back and waited for what uh, Sinji was going to do. Death attack gets caught by the death smash. I like this play right now from Loki. Oh, all that lag on that grab is going to lead to a very early stock, and that's a very big deal. This is a matchup where when you get kills matters so much, because they can just live like you saw last, the last uh, stock to like 200. Nice grab. I like that. I like the air dodge in. The, the bomb catches traditional... Uh, Pledge options, but not air dodge in. He saw when he was recovering too. He tried to drop a high. Whoa, what? Okay, that was really weird off the ledge. I don't know if that was on purpose, but he just gets hit for it. Oh, what? What's, what's up? When did you get here? Why are you so late? Working on college homework stuff. Let what's me going be. On? Hi. All right. So I see Cindy's here. That's yeah, he is. Not. A regular thing. It's a nice Him thing. Him and Wing like are it. both here, so prepare for 15 games of almost timeouts. <laughs> so I guess I'm not commentating grand. <laughs> All right. Up percent kill. Yep. So 112. You're not even a kill percent for a lot of Pac-Man stuff. You're like kill percent for like Bell or like a forward smash, but not too much else. Yeah, Pac-Man is a character where like he does have his raw kill moves up really early, but like. Oh. He has a hard time actually in landing him. Like, avoiding yeah. his stuff that kills you is pretty easy. It's not I mean, it's been anything too much. Pretty much, much. Yeah. Flaw. yeah, definitely. It's like not being able to... Oh, it's just slowly drifting over. That. So slow, but so well, but so powerful. So this game was, like, super even, and then he got an up smash of, like, 80, and it killed. And then it was, like, he just kind of steamrolled the m momentum. And I know you weren't here for the first part, but... This could definitely go either way in the preceding games, or in the in the in the games coming. Well, let's see what Logie does then, because I'm assuming this is best of three. The bracket didn't yeah. start that long ago. I'm a little bit late. It's quarters. All the quarters matches are on right now. We just Those saw. Quarters? Yeah. That's not that bad. That's pretty no, good. No, yeah, yeah. But either way, still best of three. So if he's gonna make those changes to get a game, get What's something happening to do with this game. ESW? What? Encore Smash Weekly? Yeah, okay, got it. 
you, did you know that Samus up air just like beats out the Hydrant completely? Yeah. That's crazy. I think he gets a confirmed down throw Nair, or like it forces an air dodge, but he keeps missing the, the, the run before the Nair, so he's not getting the actual frame trap. And he, you, you saw there he went for the down throw, went for a Nair, missed, shook his head. And he didn't get a run before. I think that's what you gotta do to make that work. You, you don't happen to know if Samus down throw was a weight dependent throw, right? I don't believe so. I'm, I'm like totally whacking in my uh, Samus I don't think knowledge. it is. Stay after bracket and play Eunice with us. By the way. Sure, but I'm gonna be terrible. That's fine. I'm gonna be even worse than you by one shot. Probably not. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't, I don't bro. I'm four days in. <laughs> Alright. I was saying before that I think Pac-Man does better if like he's has he has better camping tools just to straight up camp. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like Samus's projectiles are just as good in terms of like pressuring people. But if you like strictly want to just like I don't want to interact, I want I would like to camp now. I think Pac-Man wins that. My so. viewpoint for Dark Samus on this might be kind of skewed because the only Dark Samus player I really know like well is uh, Waves, but which is pretty aggressive. <laughs> It's not that he's aggressive, he just has really good movement. Yeah, so it's like harder to, to it's catch It's harder to catch him. him. He's just like really good at making up with his movement. Yeah. That's like the one thing he does best. So when I watch other Samus's, I see them not do as much. Yeah. This I is get like kind of thrown off of it, because I'm just not used to it. Yeah. This is basically what kind of happened in the last game, where like, he just didn't get a kill for a long time. Like, it was it was going well, it was going pretty even, going nice. Then, then uh... Since you got a kill, and then he just like got 100%. Yeah, I can imagine that getting your kill options with Samson's nice. Pac Man can be very difficult. That was a good frame shot. Oh, he misses really another grab and gets up smash for it. The last game he missed a grab and got uh, up smash for it really early. That's a lot of damage. Down tilt in, into Hydra. Alright, rolling in a charge shot. shot. Well, I like this. Back and he fell the chance part. Ooh. That's not real in this game, right? Or uh, up B. Yeah, yeah chance part. There's like a budget version of it in really? this game. Yeah. Does it it's kill? A, I think so. It's a lot more specific than before though. It's with up air, not dash attack. Oh what? Oh like the landing up there? Yeah. Yeah. He got that before and like tried tried to read the air dodge with an up smash, but he missed. Last ox though. Definitely doable for sure. Oh I like that. Yeah. He misses a grab, but he doesn't get punished for it. I, I, I like the idea of the grab, even if it didn't work. Yeah. Also, the, the cost confidence that you need to grab that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Dude, Pac-Man holding a bell, such a good character. So scary. You know what's scarier? What? Shoku with her son holding a bell.